Hi, this is Sue Kaufman of Sue Kaufman Fitness, and as promised, I'm bringing you my no equipment outdoor workout that you can do anywhere. I'm doing it inside today. You could do this outside just as easily. In fact, it's really nice because you can just do it anywhere. This consists of four different groups of exercises, two exercises each that you do in four sets. So you repeat it four times. So to do this, a couple things that will help is you can use any kind of timer that you can find on the internet. I have what's called the bit timer and I have it set for 30 seconds of workout and 15 seconds of rest to do eight times so that will cover the set that we're doing but if you don't have a timer you can do somewhere between 12 and 15 reps and then rest for approximately 15 seconds in between each exercise so I'll show you the exercises instructionally and then you can put your workout together. I also will um, post a written copy of this on my uh, Facebook page so you can download it. So the first two sets of exercises, first one is walking lunge. So you want, want to start with your feet a little closer than shoulder width apart. You can work hands on your hips and if you want a little bit more of a challenge you can work hands up and then bring them down when you lunge and back up when you come up. I'll do them with hands on hips. So the main thing here when you do a lunge is you bring your, your stepping lunge, your stepping leg out far enough that you can get your uh, bottom part of your foot parallel to the floor and your stepping foot at a 90 degree angle. So if I step with my left foot and then when you come up use your heel to pop yourself up and then step with the right foot, and then up. And then just lunge as far as you can, wherever you are, and then you can turn around and go, go back in the other direction. The second exercise is a plank crawl. So you're in plank position on the floor, on your elbows, and your elbows should be shoulder width apart. You need to draw in your abs and your glutes, so you have a nice, flat back and then it's just like crawling under a wire exercises first one is the one-legged bridge or you can do two-legged if uh, one legged is too hard and the second one is burpee I like to do a sumo burpee with my feet slightly out because it's easier on my knees so first one one-legged bridge down on the floor on your back feet shoulder width apart extend one leg arms are on the floor and you lift your hip and torso into the air and you want to lock your glutes lower bring it up hold them lower now you'll do four sets of these so you can do one entire set with one leg and then switch to the other leg the next set uh, again if that's a little more challenging than you'd like it you can go with two legs on the floor, squeeze your glutes at the top, and back down. Second exercise is the burpee. Like I said, I like to do mine sumo style with my feet. My feet turned out. So, very slowly, burpee, start standing with your feet slightly out, or you can do them with toes pointing forward. Your choice. First First step, hands on the floor. Second step, kick out the plank. Third step, feet back. And I like to jump up. Now, if that's too challenging, you can do a modified version, which is hands down, one foot out, one foot out, one foot. The third step of exercises. These are probably I feel like the hardest one, so if you need to modify these, that's great. I like to put the third, the one that's the hardest in the third area because you're warmed up enough to do it, but it's not the very last one that it really kicks your butt at the end. So, uh, the first one is football tires, and the second one is a push-up from the floor, and these can be modified as you need. So, what you're going to do is just pretend there's tires on the floor and you're running through them. There's like four. So you just start in this position. Tire one, tire two, tire three, here I come, tire four, and back. 
and then you come forward and back, forward and back until the time was up. So there's a little plier metrics in there if you need to modify tire one, tire two, tire three, so forth and so on. Eliminate the jump. All right. The second one is push up from the floor. So you start on the floor with your hands in push up position, and your feet curled under, and you will try to keep a nice straight back as you push up from the floor. And then back down. Now, if that becomes challenging, which I've already done this workout today, so it's already challenging for me, you can go to your knees. Last set of exercises. So if you get to this point, you know you're to the home stretch. So the two exercises in this are a side lunge with a pull up and then um, tricep dip, which I'll show you from the floor because if you're outside, you might need to do it from the ground. Uh, I'll show it to you from a chair, which you can do if you're inside. So the first one is a side lunge and then you pull your leg up. Now, I'll show you from the front and the side because you need to see it both ways to see it done correctly. The important thing for you to remember when you do the side lunge is to keep your knee in line with your ankle. This is too far. See, my foot is farther out than my knee. All right, so you need to keep it so knee and, f and <coughs> ankle are in line. Excuse me. All right, that's just a basic lunge. You're doing a lunge with a pull. Now, from the side, you need to see that you're going back into your glute when you lunge. So, side. See how far back I am into this gluteal muscle? Pull. Pull. Do it from one side the first time, and the other side the second time, and then alternate. Second one is a, is a tricep dip. From the floor, it looked like this. Remember that old crab walk position from elementary phys ed class? Well, you'll be pretty much in that position. Now, it's not lowering and lifting your midsection. It's bending your elbows and straightening. And from the floor, your butt might hit the ground when you're doing this. Now if you're indoors and you can use a chair, it would look more like this. So start sitting on the chair with your hands on here. Bring your legs out with your weight on your heels. Lower and lift. And then if you're outside and you find a curb or something that's outside that you can use to get your to get to get up off the ground like we did with this chair, feel free to use it as long as it's safe. It's not going to break. So that's the workout. Look for the download on my Facebook page and uh, Happy exercising.